Hi guys and welcome to Intuition Study Services. In today's episode, we'll be looking at another variation of lightning maths. The quickest, fastest and easiest way to multiply two four-digit numbers together. This will be done using the double cross or double x method, which will also make use of the star or asterisk method, which we first came across in episode 2. Click here to check out that video or you can click on the link provided in the description below. Okay, so let's take a look at an example. Can you multiply 1,234 by 4,321 and get the answer all in one line without using a calculator and in a very short amount of time? We can get the answer if we make use of the double cross or double x method, which will also make use of the star and asterisk method. So as usual, what we do is we move over to the units column and we want to multiply downwards first of all. So that's 4 times 1, which gives us 4. Then we do the cross. So we do 4 times 2, which is 8. We want to add that to 3 times 1, which is 3. That gives us 11 in total. So put the 1 here and we carry the other one. Then we do the star or the asterisk. So we do 4 times 3, which is 12. I'm going to add that to 2 times 1, which is 2. I'm going to add that to 3 times 2, which is 6. That gives us 20 in total. Adding this one on from before gives us 21. So we put the 1 here and we carry the 2. Then we do what's called the double X or double cross. So we do 4 times 4, which is 16. I'm going to add that to 1 times 1, which is 1. I'm going to add that to... 3 times 3, which is 9. I'm going to add that to 2 times 2, which is 4. Now that gives us 30 in total. Adding this 2 on from before gives us 32. So we put the 2 here and we carry the 3. Then we do another star or asterisk. So we do 3 times 4, which is 12. I'm going to add that to 1 times 2, which is 2. We want to add that to 2 times 3, which is 6, and that gives us 20 in total again. Adding this 3 on from before gives us 23, so we put the 3 here and we carry the 2. Then we do another cross, so we do 2 times 4 is 8. I'm going to add that to 1 times 3, which is 3. That gives us 11 in total. Adding this 2 on from before gives us 13, so we put the 3 here and we carry the 1. And then finally, we multiply downwards. So we do 1 times 4, which is 4, adding this 1 on from before gives us 5. So the answer is 5,332,114. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. Let's consider this time 1,786 multiplied by 245. Let's see how well we can do with this. Can anybody notice the difference here? We can see that in this case we have a four digit number multiplied by a three digit number. So what we do as before, we notice the space or the missing digit here and because there is nothing there we represent it with nothing so we just replace it with a zero and then we carry on before using the method as did in the last example. So what we do first is we multiply down so six times five is 30 so put the 0 here and we carry the 3 then we do the cross so 6 times 4 is 24 we want to add that to 8 times 5 which is 40 and that gives 64 in total adding this 3 from before gives 67 uh, so we carry the 6 then we do the star with the asterisk so 6 times 2 is 12 we want to add that to 7 times 5 which is 35 and we want to add that to 8 times 4, which is 32. So that makes 79. Adding the 6 from before gives us 85. So we put the 5 there and we carry the 8. Then we do the double cross with the double star. So 6 times 0 is 0. And we add that to 1 times 5, which is 5. And we add that to 8 times 2, which is 16. And we add that to 7 times 4, which is 28. And that gives us 49. Adding this 8 times from before 
gives us 57. So put 7 here and we carry the 5. Then we do the star with the asterisk. So 8 times 0 is 0. And add that to 1 times 4, which is 4. And add that to 7 times 2, which is 14. That gives us 18. Adding this 5 from before gives us 23. So put the 3 here and carry the 2. Then we do a cross again, so 7 times 0 is 0, and we add that to 1 times 2, which is 2. So that adds to 2 in total. Adding this 2 on before gives 4, nothing to carry. And then finally we multiply downwards, so 1 times 0 is 0, and we don't really need to put 0 here, so we'll just leave it at that. So the answer is 437,570. Okay, so just to summarize the method then, if we consider each dot to represent a single digit in our four digit numbers, then we can use the following steps to get the answer in no time. Step one, we multiply downwards, put the answer in the answer line, and to carry over any digits if necessary. Step two, we multiply crosswise, add them in a result, put the answer in the answer line, remembering to add on from the previous step if required and to carry over any digits if necessary. Step three, we multiply in a star or asterisk pattern, add them in a result, put the answer in the answer line, remembering to add on from the previous step and to carry over any digits if necessary. Step four, we multiply in a double cross or double X pattern, add them in a result, put the answer in the answer line, remembering to add on from the previous step and to carry over any digits if necessary. Step five, we multiply in a star or asterisk pattern again, add the mini result, put the answer in the answer line, remembering to add on from the previous step and to carry over any digits if necessary. Step six, we multiply crosswise again, add the mini result, Put the answer in the answer line, remembering to add on from the previous step and to carry over any digits if necessary. And step seven, multiply downwards and put the answer in the answer line, remembering to add on from the previous step if required. So hopefully by now you would have got a good handle on the technique. So what I'll do is I'll leave you with these two questions for you to try. You can pause the video and I'll join you in a few moments. Okay, so how well did you guys do with these questions? For the first one, you should have got 14,596,512. And as you can see at the bottom, all the numbers that were carried during the working out. And for the second one, you should have got 1,779,204. And likewise, you can see the numbers that were carried during the working out. And also, remember we had to include the zero before any working out began. Okay, so everybody should have done well on those, but if you feel you need a bit more practice, then feel free to rewind this video and you can work through the technique again. If you found this tutorial helpful, then do leave a like, comment, share with anyone who you feel this could benefit, and do subscribe for all the latest lightning maths tips, tricks, revision and exam techniques. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.